Hi everyone. This post is going to be mainly directed towards teachers and talking about how they can use oils in the classroom. I am a former teacher and I am currently a district specialist so I don't have my own classroom anymore but when I did, I did use uh, oils and I diffused oils in my office where teachers would meet for PLC. I'm going to start tonight talking about diffusers in the classroom. And first of all, I think it is really important to say that if you are going to be diffusing oils in your classroom, um, make sure that you are not violating any kind of district policy that might be in place. I have heard that some districts are requiring teachers to get permission slips signed from students if they are going to be diffusing so that the parents are okay with that. Other districts just have a blanket, no essential oils allowed in the classroom, So, which is unfortunate. Um, if you don't know a policy exists, then I personally would not go looking for one. Um, if that is the case for you, that you are not able to use essential oils in the classroom, there are still some ways that you can maybe get around that by using uh, diffuser jewelry, things like necklaces like this. You could put your own drops and wear it throughout the day so that you are still receiving the benefits of essential oils and maybe some students next to you can also get some whiffs of that really awesome scent throughout the day as well. Um, diffuser, bracelets, things like that. Another option that I used to have was a USB diffuser. So this is something that you can just, you know, it's a USB. You pour oil into the side, you plug it into your computer and um, it will diffuse a very small area around where you are working. So that is a, a really good way for you to continue using oils if you are perhaps not able to use them widely in your classroom. Um, if you are diffusing, what um, kind of oils would you be looking at doing? Um, I liked using something light, refreshing, things like lavender, lemon and peppermint. I would always kind of put these together, especially during some um, seasonal times throughout the year. Um, I wouldn't put anything that is too strong that people might have an aversion to or might possibly be allergic to. Um, so always err on the side of less um, if you are going to be diffusing in an area where there's going to be a lot of people coming in, especially students, of course. Um, other things that are good to diffuse, thieves, always good, especially in the fall. This, uh, the cinnamon and clove in here offers a really nice fall scent, and of course you're going to get the um, benefit of supporting your healthy immune systems as well. Um, stress away. I would sometimes put this in there in my diffuser as well in my classroom. I also always kept a bottle in my desk that I would just roll on sometimes because you know you need this throughout the day. Um, outside of diffusing oils, a couple of other good products to use are Thieves Cleaner. I would definitely have a spray bottle at hand in the classroom for you to use to clean off tables, um, any kind of messes that arise. Um, they're much better for you than any of the chemical wipes that you might already be using. So think about having some Thieves Cleaner in your classroom. The other thing I would strongly recommend is Thieves Hand Purifier. If you have not smelt it, it smells very good. It has some peppermint oil in it, and so it has the hint of peppermint. I would keep this everywhere, um, in your classroom for sure. I go into a lot of classrooms in and out, and uh, every time I touch a doorknob, all I can think about is how many hands have touched that doorknob. And so I always make sure to carry a little bottle with me. And then I always had a bigger bottle on my desk as well. Um, so I think that is about it. Have a great night.